guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs and welcome to another video. Today we have the 10 under 21s to watch this season from the first division. Now players like Colly Whelan, uh, Brandon Kavanagh, Ronan Manning and Charlie Lyons are not going to put on to this list guys because um, those players excelled last season um, in the first division. So it's going to be kind of players who some of them have done well to be fair. But some of them haven't, what you would say, called excelled over a number of games yet. So let's get straight into this list. Just one more thing, guys. It's not ranked. It would have been very difficult to actually rank this. But I've got these are the 10 players I've picked. Um, I went through each club extensively as well. And there's a lot of other players you can pick out as well. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into it, guys. Now, first up, I went for Kyle Robinson of Wexford FC. Wexford have a lot of good young players, to be fair, and have brought in another batch of young players. But the 19-year-old is on loan till June, at least. It could be until the end of the season. You don't know. We don't know yet, but June, at least. Uh, banging in goals, left, right, and center for the St. Patrick's Athletic youth sides was part of the the youth team that won the under-19 league last season as well. So um, he comes with a bit of pedigree. Um, Pats of Coughlin and the new guy from Reading as well this season so uh, they'll be looking to see how well he does at Wexford unfortunately for Wexford the better he does the le least likely it is that he stays with the club till the end of the season but at the same time definitely one to watch a real goal scorer a real goal scorer type striker and um, he'll be hoping to make his name in the first division player number two guys is another loanee and it's Jamie Wynn of Cork City he's on loan from Dundalk for the season Jamie's only 19 he's a winger uh, Pacey got a trick or two in him as well made a couple of appearances for Dundalk in 2020 in the Europa League notably it came on as a sub and um, in the league, he also made an appearance as well. But he's coming to Cork with a bit of a reputation. So the last time, by the way, a player moved from Dundalk to Cork was Sean, Shawnee Maguire. So obviously that didn't uh, go too badly, did it? So um, Jamie Wayne is one I would definitely keep an eye on for 2021 at Cork City. Now, player number three have gone for Sean Callan Abray Wonders. Uh, I had a look at Daryl Lynch as well. Very young player. He looks a good prospect as well, but they generally play one up front. But Gary Shaw, I'd imagine he'll play the majority of games. I think Lynch is still 17 as well. Uh, definitely is one to watch, by the way. They've had other players, obviously, like Sean McAvoy, who've excelled, etc. But uh, Sean Callan is coming in from Shamrock Rovers. Now, I know he played most of the, the games with Shamrock Rovers last season, but it's... Still a little under the radar and a lot of Bray fans won't know exactly what to expect from him. But, um, you know, they lost John Ross Wilson, so I think he'll slide in right back. You know, he can also play centre-back and he's got the build to play centre-back and he's decent in the air as well. Um, I think he'll slide into Bray fairly seamlessly as well. And I expect Sean Callan to have a good season. Now, player number four, I've gone for Alec Byrne at Cork City. The young man was part of Cork City's Premier Division side last year. Uh, didn't show the undoubted potential that he has really last season. There's a number of factors, though, to be fair. Uh, obviously, Cork struggling. Um, I felt there was a lack of leadership in the Cork team as well. But now that they're in the first division, I think he can really show his stuff. He can play on the wing, um, on either wing, sorry, left and right, predominantly left wing. I think this season, yeah, he can show his stuff. I think in the first division, he can be a bit more freer as well. Maybe a little bit less pressure as well. I think this is the season that uh, Alec Byrne might step up to the plate with the Rebels. Now, player number five, guys, is Franz Lee Lomboto. Lomboto played for Galway last season. He was kind of in and out of the team, to be honest. Murphy promoted him to the first team, and uh, Caulfield also took a liking to him as well. But um, he only showed glimpses of his potential last season, in my opinion. Lightning pace, very athletic, um, and has got that power as well. So he's a player that could really be a serious weapon to Galway this season. Again, brought in a lot of good players, but it's an existing one that could really be a key player for them. Scored some important goals last season as well, and I know that um, he's liked a lot in Galway. He's still only 20 years of age as well, so he's one to keep an eye on next season, guys. Franz Lee Lomboto. And it's Tumelo Tilohu from Athlone Town. This guy's impressive. He played... Um, I don't know if anyone remembers against Shelburne, a right back in the Cup in the 4-1 win. He was fantastic. 
still only 18, still only 18 years of age. And again, Athlone have brought in a lot of players, but uh, they have some good existing ones that they kept. And this guy was vital they kept him because um, he's good. He's athletic. He gets up and down very, very quickly and can cross the ball. And um, he's only going to get better at the age of 18. He's only going to get better. Um, I think if he keeps going the way he has in the last season and brings that on to next season, obviously improves a little bit as well. It won't be long till Premier Division clubs are looking after, it, looking at him if that loan don't go up, of course. So keep an eye on him, guys. For Alex Seatoner of Shelburne, a player that was promoted from the Utes to their first team squad last season. Not too many appearances last season, um, but the 19 year old. Again, a player with a lot of skill, can play in a lot of positions, left, right wing, can also feature at number 10, uh, could probably play up front if needed as well. But with Shelburne in the first division as well, I think this is a season where he might break through and get games and show his ability. Shelburne have actually signed a lot of very, very, very good players, particularly for the first division. But I think Seatoner can come in there and uh, and make an impact. And he could be the one player that's twenty one or under that could really make an impact for the Talca Rover Talca Rovers Talca <laughs> Park Club in two thousand and twenty one. Number eight guys have gone for Donald Higgins, formerly Galway United, now plays for UCD or be fe- featured for UCD, of course, in two thousand twenty one. Still only nineteen. I actually forgot he was that young when I checked him up. I thought he was about 21, but he's 19 years of age. Again, a player, central midfield player generally, but can play left and right as well. Uh, good energy in his game. Played 10 times for Galway last season. Uh, Caulfield tended to pick players with more experience over him, but he's a player that I think can thrive in the environment that UCD can bring to young players. And uh, one that I see kicking on in 2021. Now, guys, player number nine is another UCD player, and it's Danu Kinsella Bishop. The 19-year-old played eight times last season for the club, scoring three goals. Now, he didn't get too many games because, of course, Maddie and um, Colly Whelan were up front banging in the goals for UCD. But when he did play, he performed well. And at only 19, he's a player that can come in and fill the boots, to some degree anyway, of Yo-Yo and Maddie. And for that reason... Myler likes to play a two up front a lot of the time as well. You might see Bishop as a good partner for Colly Whelan. So Bishop could be one to really watch for in 2021. And he might be on the radar of bigger clubs in 2022 if he can perform for UCD. Finally, guys, player number 10 is Vilius Labutus, who plays for Cabin Teeley. Only 19. He made 13 appearances last season, scoring two goals. A player that can play in a number of positions in midfield as well, but likes to get forward and likes being attacking and likes to get in areas to score goals. Cabin Teeley haven't signed anyone this season. Doesn't look like they will. They've lost a lot of good players. So they'll need Labouches, I suppose, to even 19 to try and kick on a little bit and improve this season. Um, I think he can. He can become more consistent. And if he can do that, it would be a major help for Cabin Teeley going into 2021. So, Vilius Labutus. So, guys, that's the 10 players I came up with to watch for 2021 that are under 21 in the first division. Um, there's plenty of other young players you could have put in that list, to be honest. Let me know who you'd put in your list. And thanks for watching. Like the video if you like this content. Subscribe if you're new. Hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. And slong of all lads. I'll see you later. Good luck.